The only thing that would bother me about this apartment is it only has one bathroom. And you know, Americans, we gotta have at least two. Like, come on. I think it's safe to say start from the top of course you got the gucci baseball cap savage fenty sweatsuit some scrunch socks i got from amazon and the yeezy flex period airport fits in that's your drip that's your drip oh, you're gonna get my drip you were probably gonna put your don't put your finger in there. Why are you gonna put your... You didn't get my jerk. <laughs> Just put your finger in there. Give me... <laughs> Let me see you do it again. <laughs> Where you going, Zay? First class. Where, where are you going? Folks. London, first row. Heathrow. Right. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come on, this is why I pre it, so we can have time. Can you put it up, up here? This one is yours. All for yourself. Put it in there. All right, sit down. Yeah. That's your seat, that's your pillow. Seats recline. Put it in. We put it to the side for me. <laughs> I got my privacy. I got my privacy. I got my privacy. I got my You know how to recline and stuff? No. I've never this is the recliners. It's everything you need. You got your own personal window right here. You got your own personal windows in. Oh, you on the uh, on the engine? You can see a little bit of stuff. <clears throat> That's moving it. There you go. I want to see how far it go down. <laughs> okay, sorry. It goes all the way down. Oh. And laid all the way down like a bed. So you feel extra. <laughs> all right, Zay. Okay, okay. <laughs> the dash is busy. The schedule is busy. My head in a hoodie. My shorty a good. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie Life is amazing, it is what it should be Been here for 10, but I feel like a rookie I tell her, look up, cause it's snowing in tussies But for three years, man, you can't even book me It's me and little Baby, the going crazy Weezy Perfect. produce It's a pleasure to welcome you on board Southwest flight for service for my business So we got slippers Shoes Shoes, yeah <laughs> Cool We got a kit, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. 
these beautiful women All in the city Wanna fuck with me I'm the man in my city Better in Cali Better in Houston She look like LA She come straight from the bay That's my passport shot That's my passport shot I know. Now you decide. Now you decide to sleep. Wake up, Zay. <laughs> Come on. I told you to go to sleep a long time ago. Just landed in London. Zay didn't get any sleep. Excuse me. This galaxy bag. Oh, yeah. that's a good one to spot. <laughs> I need one more. <laughs> I'm in London, I like to go and shop at the mall Shop at the bar, shop at the store Shop in a drop and stop at the yard Louis Vuitton, cover my toes Throw my trousers, look at my wigs These are my tennis, look at my shoes Look at my shoes Look who didn't go to sleep on the plane like I asked him to. Situation. Um, my sisters are already here, so they already made everything crazy. Um, it's cute. I think this is really cute. And look at this bathroom. So, the shower, and I think it has a, is that a towel one? Uh, Americans are impressed by such minuscule things. We're only going to be here for two full days, and this is our half day here now. I really didn't want to go to sleep because I didn't want to throw off um, my sleep pattern, but it's probably going to be thrown off because I'm actually very tired. I'm probably gonna close my eyes for a second. But um like I said, we just just got here. This place was about two hours away from the airport. So we're gonna have to leave. Um our flight is at two. Our flight back is at two. And then we're gonna have to, so we gotta leave. Four, I would say four hours in advance. So if, we, if it's at two, we have to leave probably like 10. Yeah, probably like 10 a.m. to get back there just to be sure that we get on 
at this time because I'm not sure like what their situation is as far as like airport and stuff like that. I don't know how their TSA works. I put on my slippers that I bought from Target. It's like sock slippers. I don't know. And the only thing I don't like about this um, this sweater from Savage Fenty, it leaves a lot of lint balls on your shirt. Like looking like look at this. Like it's a lot. Maybe once you wash it, it'll calm down. But let me see how bright it gets in here. Oh. sisters have been here for a month like it's not like nasty in here but it's just like mixy it's just a bunch of stuff everywhere like they don't they weren't trying to keep it neat in here and here I am cleaning up because I want to get some aesthetically pleasing footage for my vlog of the apartment because I couldn't do like the initial apartment tour before it got wrecked because I wasn't here. So now I'm in here cleaning up their room. Like it was a bit much. It's not gonna be like super cute, but I'm gonna, I'm just straightening up. I don't even know how things were. Like I know this chair wasn't here. I think that chair goes in the kitchen. So I'm trying to straighten up. I know they're gonna be mad. Like, why you touch my stuff? But your stuff needed to be touched because I need some cute videos of this is the most different storage of gel that I've seen. Very creative for my little sister. Um, so I'm gonna put that in the drawer and this and this and this in the drawer for now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to like, I already made up the beds and kind of moved some clothes around, fold some things. And I know they're gonna be like, wait, you touch stuff. I definitely touched your stuff. Tell y'all ahead of time. This is so cute. This is my sister's bed. I don't know where she got this from. This is cute, I like this. I steal it from her. I don't know if you ever see it. Okay, there's a better light. I like this, I like stuff like this. Ooh, it was too short for too short for a crossbody. <laughs> so I guess it's just like just a satchel arm. Yeah, I had to take that shirt off because it was hot. So that's why I'm up looking crazy right now. But yeah, so yeah, but I might steal this from her. Hmm, which I think she, she hates me anyway. Okay, I've straightened up a little bit. So now I can give y'all a proper tour of this room. Yes, like the first time I kind of peeped in here wasn't. So they just have their, their stuff everywhere. But I did somewhat make up the beds, but not really. Because I don't know how they were before. I think these are like throws. I don't know what these are. But it's cute, the whole little setup. Um, I'm guessing my room is the master. So... My older sister was sleeping in here before we got here, but she's being nice enough to, she bought her air mattress because there wasn't many beds. I told her that um, that me and my son could have shared one of these beds so that, you know, and one person could have been on that. We could have shared one bed. They could have been on the other bed and then her and my other sister could have been in that room 
um, so everybody can have a bed. Like, I was fine. Me and my son are fine sleeping on the twin. Like, he's been on my hip since he was little. But, so I showed y'all the bathroom already. Hallway's a little bit mixy because it's just a lot of suitcases. And um, they're kind of, um, how would I say? It seem, they seem kind of minimalist here. Like, there's not, like, as far as their apartments and stuff, there's not a lot of storage space for, like, they don't have closets. They probably do it. I'm just, I'm just speculating. They probably have, like, closets in other places. Um, but this one doesn't have any closets. It's just, like, it's, like, hanging... It's a hanging storage thing in here. I'm noticing, um, I noticed this. It's like a really deep, move that out the way. But this is like a deep storage thing. Like where you can store. So like if I had like, if I was living here and I had like winter clothes or something, I would kind of store them in here. Um, yeah, so cute. We got the little flower. We should have put some flowers in there. That would have been cuter. But <clears throat> the whole aesthetic is, is cute. The way she decorated is cute. All right, he's still sleeping. So I know you're like, what in the Vampire Diaries is going on right now, right? Okay, so all I packed was like black items. I thought I packed some jeans. I have like one white shirt, but everything else is all black, me and my son. like. I know it's Halloween, but this has nothing to do with Halloween. I don't celebrate Halloween, but yeah. So these are all of our shoes that we're going to be wearing. I bought him some Nike boots because his feet grows like crazy. So this is the third pair of Nike boots I bought him. He's in a men's nine and a half now. I have my Doc Martens, of course. My Balenciaga sneakers. My Yeezys, of course, you saw that already. And I have my Puma. I have these uh, Rihanna, um, these Fenty boots. Uh, they don't say Fenty. That's the thing. They say Fenty on the box and the bag, but they say Puma on the back. So, yeah. Those ones, I hope they don't hurt, though. They are my bags. Of course, I got my coach bag. You have probably seen this before in a few pictures when I wore it to New York. Um, I love that coach bag. I just bought this. Uh, it's all squished up now because I got it in my bag. So my Coelho de Ville purse from Coach. I love Coach. And I also have the Jean, uh, Jean Michael Basquet. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It's French. But I bought that just in case. I want to wear that one. Of course, I got my Carl Langerfeld. Uh, bag that the bag that my um ex bought me for my birthday so i love the aesthetic in here this is like my kind of room let's make it brighter in here though so outside it's not really hitting but it's giving that london vibe though how they're what they call flats we call it apartments of course we call it apartments they call it flats pictures are like line art but it's on that canvas type of it's, it's like thread or something that's dope but anyway yeah so the hunt for storage space i really want to go get some more hangers um because i like my clothes i like my clothes to be hung up so like i really want to go buy some more hangers and so i can hang up all of my stuff even though i just got a whole bunch of dracula looking shit like i really like was like oh we're gonna do all black in london we gotta be like all black cool looking like black peacoat i didn't show you all my peacoat did i even show you my clothes i didn't show you all the shoes so i bought this plain dress off amazon plan on wearing that with these tights that i got um Excuse the hair on it. I have to lint roll it. I have cats. Um, but I got these tights from Target. I did bring these. I don't really have anything to wear with them. I don't know why I brought those. Uh, just got some regular black leggings right here. 
This is my black peacoat right here. I got this from Boohoo. And I got my son a black peacoat too. But I don't know if he's gonna wear it. I just want him to wear it just one time. Just so I can get a good picture. But his is dope too. And this is the man collection at Boohoo. And it kind of like crosses over in the front. It's cool. But yeah, that's it. Got some beanies that I got from H&M a while ago. It says alternate future. Got these beanies. I love this shirt because this describes me. But yeah, like I said, excuse, excuse all of the hair on my clothes. I just I have three cats and I just have a struggle with keeping hair like contained so yeah but anyway so this is the living room couch is still i like it it's cute it's a nice little cute cute little setup like it doesn't get any cuter than this like i would definitely live here the only thing that would bother me about this apartment is it only has one bathroom and you know americans we gotta have at least two like come on I needed at least two bathrooms, so if this had two bathrooms, it would be like hidden. But this bathroom, the way they did this, I love it. Like it's amazing. I need to go take a shower and charge this phone up and I will check back in. Ignore my edges too. You know how many times I laid my edges? I laid my edges on a plane and then they just frizz back up again. Like y'all saw me like being real ratchet laying my edges on the plane. I didn't even tell y'all what happened. Like, so this is my first time being in uh, first class. So <sighs> I had all of my stuff on the table. Like I had gel, I, I, I'll show you, I had a bunch of stuff on the table, right? And I, I forgot you're supposed to put everything away when the plane is landing because you know, it's gonna fall everywhere. It starts to slide and stuff. So they, they tell us that, but like for some reason it slipped my mind. So as soon as the plane landed, like, everything fell on the floor but it wasn't a lot it was just like some gel and my toothbrush and this old lady next to me she was like I wouldn't put that toothbrush back in my mouth if I was you like she handed it to me and I was like oh that's for my hair like they don't know about black women using toothbrushes for baby hair they don't know she didn't even probably didn't know what I was talking about but funny story so I'm trying um just bought this Fenty Skin Cocoa Cleanser. So I'm trying that. Sorry, can you hear me? Can you even hear me? I'm um, trying this. I hope it don't make my skin break out or anything because you know I'm over overseas. I don't have time for stuff happening to me. Like, I really don't. I know you're like, why are you trying something new overseas? Because I use a lot of their other products. So I'm like, how bad could this be? Hmm. Trying to get the smell. Mm. Yeah, a lot of ingredients though, that's the thing. Anyway. PTSD for my cats like because they're always like just popping in and just doing random stuff so I just heard that noise and I'm just like cats like this um ignore me one thing about this place I don't know if this is your period but this water gets hot this is women approved like because women like the hot water this is women approved because this water gets real hot and I love it this sink is just so short so I'm like wet up the floor trying to wash my face. Definitely always pat dry. Oh, you don't want your face to be stretched out. I think your skin kind of gets like the collagen or whatever and your skin gets weaker as you get older. So like if you stretch it, it's gonna like stay like that. Like remember Beetlejuice when it was kind of forming your face? I think that's kind of what happens when you get older. Like if you stretch it, 
it's stretched. It's not gonna snap back. You don't have that. So yeah, I know I'm a little nervous about putting stuff on my face because um, you know I was breaking. I went through a whole period of where I was breaking out really bad from the mask and stuff. So my sister had kind of advised me just don't put nothing on your face. Just you know, just do water. So as far as like moisturizing and stuff, I definitely I'm not putting stuff on my face. I was using the Fenty stuff, which I, I have it in my bag, but I'm just gonna do shea butter. And this is all I really want, pretty much use for my skin now. I bought this light off Amazon from Hagibis. Um, someone had it. And this light is so freaking bright. Let me just show y'all how it looks. So I messed up because like, I thought you just clicked the button. I was like, oh, it needs to be charged or something. Is that why it's not cutting on? But I had to charge it for a long time and it still wouldn't cut on. And I was like, so you gotta hold this button. Like you gotta hold it. I don't know how I figured that out. This light is so bright. Let me turn it up to its max. See? You want to you want to know how I know it's bright? Cause look, I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn it off. All right. See how dark it is in here? Now watch when we turn it on. All right. Now I'm gonna hook this up here. Hope it don't throw the balance off. Oh, it is gonna throw the balance off. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right in the center. Oh, this is too much. Hold on, let me take this off of the gimbal. See, oh my God, like y'all see this lighting? This is like crazy. Like for it to be like, it's pitch black in here. There's no light on. So watch, I'm gonna turn it off again. I'm gonna stay right here. So this is how it looks in here. It's pitch black. And then you turn the light on and it's, it's bright. So that means this better be like working at nighttime. This better work outside because for it to do that wouldn't like a dark, really dark environment, like this A1. And I'm gonna put the link to it in the bio. The only thing I don't like about it, the only thing that I don't like about this is the little piece that it came with. It has this little, I don't know if you can see it. The little part that goes inside here in this part, because I was trying to figure out, like, it doesn't stay in. Like, it stays, like, if you balance it, like, if you're just kind of being still. But if you start moving too much, you see how it comes off? Now I gotta balance this. Um, If I shoot at night, which is probably gonna be tonight because we're going, we just got here, Um, we landed at 11. By the time we got through customs, got the Uber, everything, we got here to the actual Airbnb at two. And my son, did not sleep at all on the plane. He didn't sleep at all. So he's tired, of course. He stayed up for the whole eight, seven, seven and a half, eight hours. That was fine. I, I slept for at least two or three hours. I know I was asleep because I had a dream. Okay. So I'm kind of, I'm still tired. Like I still didn't get a full sleep, but I don't want to go to sleep now because then I'm going to be up tonight. And if I be up tonight, I'm going to be tired in the morning. And I just, I only have two days here, two full days. So I need to do what I got to do tomorrow and, you know, the next day. So I'm forcing myself to stay up so that I could just go to sleep at night when I, you know, when everything is done. I got these braids done before I went to Miami. And I was like, I didn't really get to like wear them like I want to wear them. And they don't look bad. They don't look bad. So I bought the gel that um, the hairstylist used. So when it was like first nice and sleek. I bought that gel that she used to sleek it down so that I could kind of go over it, you know, in the center and stuff so that just in case it's frizzy. And then, you know, this is gonna last me till Tuesday. It's like, why why take them out and they're not, you know, horrid? But they're struggling to survive, I can see it. Oh, probably got a bunch of hair on this shirt. Ugh. Cats are so cute, but they are so hairy. It is like insane. It's like, why do I have hair on me? I try not to pick them up because I don't want hair all over me. I gotta keep them off my bed. I keep my closet door closed. I keep my room door closed when I'm not home. My son has them all over his bed, all in his closet. I gotta keep his closet door closed. Like, it's a lot. So I always need like a cat break. Like these little, we went to Tennessee again, like we just had like a break from the cats, like, because bruh. This whole time I forgot this thing gets higher. 
So maybe when I'm doing my face routine tomorrow, I'll bring it up higher. But so this is what she uses to um to lay down my hair when they were doing the braids, right? I'm just taking it and I'm kind of just I usually wet it, but I didn't bring my spray bottle. All right, just a little bit. So I just take it and I'm kind of like just push it down like that. And I kind of like try to go all around the braid peek it, and I'm just pushing it down. See it? So it's getting like a little bit slick. And then after you do like, I'm gonna do like all the braids in the front. And after I do that, then I just kind of tie my hair down. You see how this kind of slicks the slick? Slicks it down. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of just, cause the airport was a lot. I was taking on and off my hat. It's like that hat is cool, but you know, I wanted that hat for a while. Um, but you know, I wore it when I went to Colorado. But the thing about that hat is it doesn't stay. Like, I don't know if it's because I got braids or whatever it is. I haven't tried it with it just like a regular puff ponytail or whatever. Cause that's all I can pretty much wear a hat with is a puff. I'm just trying to keep this down. And then I'm just gonna lay my edges. So this is cool, but as an edge control, I don't know, like, she put a lot of other stuff in my hair to lay my edges down. But you know, when you be asking stylists like what they did, they be hesitant to tell you because they feel like, I don't know when they feel like you're gonna become a stylist and take their method, which could happen, but I don't wanna be, I don't wanna braid my own fucking hair. What I look like braiding, I'm paying you two, $250, $300 to braid my hair. Obviously, I'm not interested in becoming a stylist. So what is the fucking secret, okay? I remember I had asked this uh, girl one time what kind of edge control she put, because my edges had stayed for like three or four days. This is when I first got braids. Like, um, when I went to Jamaica, I think, yeah, when I had my braids in Jamaica, like when she laid my edges, they stayed for like three or four days. I was like, yo, what the, what did you put? on my edges like she could have sold that shit to me like i didn't care she just didn't answer me i'm like bitch i bet you if i said i had some money you would have answered me you could have even just answered me and say yeah i sell that but i think after a while she started like having it available in her in her studio so i guess maybe she didn't want to tell me what it was until she was selling it but it's just like that that mentality is just really selfish like i understand everybody wants to make money but Everything shouldn't be for sale. Everything doesn't have to be for sale. All right, my silk scarf. I'm just gonna, cause I already laid, kind of laid my edges, but not really, um, just to have them down. So just leave that tied up. Yeah, leave it back out. I'm about to, um, I guess I'm about to edit or something because there's nothing else to do. I could take a nap, but I, like I said, I don't wanna go to sleep because then my whole, pattern thing is gonna be thrown off. So I'd rather just kind of just stay up. Make sure I don't let a mustache. All right. See how, it, see the extendo? I forgot it did that. And I'm sitting here like struggling, like doing like this, looking down. Anyway, I'm about to go edit. I don't know if I'm gonna end this, this episode here. I might, I might not, I don't know. But. This ain't ordinary love. This ain't